Okay, let's go to the men's clicks over here, all right? Because we've because we've seen this blow up in the last week. Apparently, this is all over the internet, the Reddit's, the 4chan's, all this shit. Guys think it's it's um, you know it's comical and it's funny. So let's see what these guys are saying. This is the first one that I came across. Um, this is on my Twitter. Boom here. And I captioned this, women aren't going to change over your soft guy era protests. You're embarrassing yourself. Here's a 46 second clip. I just got off the phone with someone I was seeing and she asked me how my day was going and I explained I was at the airport. And then she said, I'm glad you got there safe. And I said, yeah, I had to take an Uber. I had to block her. I mean, she was great and everything. She was emotionally intelligent, always paid for dinner, pretty much catered to my every need. But if you hear I'm taking an Uber to the airport and your first move is not to open up Venmo and send me money, are you even a real woman? And then you find out I'm on a commercial flight and you don't immediately charter me a private jet. I know my worth drizzle drizzle. I'm in my soft guy era. I want to be pampered. And if you're broke, just say that. And I'm sure later she'll come around looking for some sugar, but this sugar don't mix without drizzle. Are you guys unplugging and seeing the code in the matrix yet? Where's the next one? This guy over here. I did, and I say, uh, yeah. I go on a date with a female, and the bill comes, and I look at it, and I say, uh, you know, it was so good to see you and everything. She don't pick up the bill, and she said, oh, you're not going to pay for it? I said, what? Drizzle, drizzle. I'm not going to pay for anything. Um, that's giving me an ick. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you're, you should be paying for the bill. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I got ready. Like, my suit costs, like, thousands of dollars. I got ready for you. My cologne costs a couple thousand. Like, I got ready and showed up. Like, I don't know what you're on, but I'm in my soft guy era drizzle drizzle so i'm just trying to make sure that you understand that what's happening here is that you need to really put out i don't know really what you have to offer you could just say you're broke but you could just say you're broke because i got a maid i got a chef i got an assistant i don't really need a woman so if you're broke you can just say so you know but i have to go ahead and block her i was not going back home with her you know if you and your soft guy era continue to be in your soft guy era because we are not lowering our standards we will find someone who would do better. Okay. The last one. This guy is at least fucking Chad looking. The rest of the guys are dorks. Listen. After careful deliberation, I have decided that I officially too will join the soft guy era. You don't get all this handsome dark chocolate for free anymore. I'm handsome. I'm educated. I'm tall. I'm athletic. You don't get all this for free anymore. Unless you're going to pay my bills, buy me a car, take me out to eat and buy me gifts on the regular, don't even breathe in my direction. I am done tolerating the bare minimum. You can either treat me like a king or you can get out of here. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. I think that's enough. You guys get the point. Again, and for the call-ins, guys, the Q&A link to call in on the show is already pinned to the top comment of the YouTube. So get ready with your questions. We've got lots of time today to do this. This is not a good idea. This is not a good use of your time. There are terrible women out there. There's lots of them. In fact, I was thinking as I was watching some of these, it might be time to itemize and categorize shitty sources of information that could influence women in directions that would make it obvious that you don't want to deal with them, i.e., whatever that drizzle drizzle lady was like, we'll put her at the top of the list. Like if you're dating a chick and you find out that she follows trash like that, forget her, move on. Uh, call her daddy podcast, another trash, you know, source of information for women. She follows stuff like that. Move on, you know, find a better chick that doesn't consume garbage. This is how you deal with terrible women. I get the comedy aspect. I love stand up comedy. I watch lots of it and I make lots of references to it all the time through a podcast interviews and stuff like that. Cause I think there's a lot of great sound bites and truths in there that you can use in day to day life. But when it comes to creating uh, reels and, and clips and you going through the edits and the, the captions and all that sort of stuff to respond to trash women, that's not how you do it. Indifference is the solution to trash. That's, that's what it is. You're walking down the street, and there's a nice building, there's a nice car, there's a beautiful woman, there's a garbage can full of trash. You do not give the garbage can full of trash your attention. You carry on walking. You're in the cars, you look at the car. You're in a beautiful woman, check out the chick. That's what you do with your time and your attention. You have to be discerning. 
in your taste and your time and how you handle things like this. And when you see trash, you categorize it as trash and you proceed to walk by trash, ignoring said trash. You do not engage trash. You do not fill up another trash can with trash and bring it over to trash and park it beside the trash and say, look at this trash versus that trash. You identify what it is and then you carry on moving by it. As I talk about in my book about how to manage your fucks, because you're only given so many fucks in a day that you can dispense and they have to be dispensed for things that are truly fuck worthy. Stuff like this is not fuck worthy. It's not a good use of your time. Indifference is the solution to terrible women. Not rebuttals, not even comedy. You just ignore them. You want women to get better. Guys, again, all the time, all the time. Every, every, every couple of weeks, there's always somebody in the comments. They'll call in and be like, Rich, what's the solution? How do we solve uh, you know, the problems with terrible women? Blah, blah, blah. Indifference. You do not give them your time and attention. Do you understand? I have the right mug today. Women do not care about your struggles. They hang out at the finish line and they pick the winner. They don't want to listen to your shit and them hearing it just amplifies more of their nonsense with the sprinkle sprinkle horse shit. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.